So if I was looking at a question like this on number 19, the first thing I would do is I would determine how many sides do I have, because I'm talking about interior angles. So that I know the sum of interior angles is equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees, right? But n, remember, represents the number of sides. So I need to determine how many sides I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 minus 2 equals 180. I'm sorry, 5 minus 2 times 180. Therefore, 3 times 180 degrees, which equals 540 degrees. OK? So there we go. 540 degrees means that is the sum of each one of these angles. The sum represents addition, meaning I need to add up, Dennis, each one of those angles. But you guys can see these angles aren't just easy like numbers 70 and 30 degrees. They're expressions. But that's OK. We can now just do x minus 8 plus 3x minus 11 plus x plus 8 plus 2x plus 9 plus x equals 540. OK, does everybody see what I did? I took each one of these angles and I added them up to equal 540 degrees. Now I need to combine my like terms. So I'm going to rearrange this so I can add all the x's and then add all my numbers. So I can have x plus 3x plus x plus 2x plus x. So all I did is now I rearranged the x's. You don't have to do this, but I'm just trying to help you guys out. And then I take all my numbers, minus 8, minus 11, plus 8, plus 9 equals 540. So x plus 3x is 4x, plus x is 5x, plus 2x is 7x, plus x is 8x. Minus 8 minus 11 is negative 19, plus 8 is um, 19 is going to be uh, plus 11, or minus 11. And then plus 9 is going to be a negative 2 equals 540. Now, to solve for x, I add 2. So I have 8x equals 542. Divide by 8, divide by 8. x equals 542. Huh? 68.1. So therefore, you guys can say for all of these adding in, your value of x has to be 68.1. OK? And that's all you guys have to do. Now, since I have students.